quite an event. Those that were at rehearsal on January, in January will, will know the problems, a little bit of the problems, <coughs> see what the like. Um, let's just get through the stuff with the side ones first. So let's start with the Water Music Suite in D Major. pageant on Sunday is the F major and the D major suites of water music which were of course originally performed on the river um, for George um, in 17 a great date the 17th of the 7th 1717 plus the music for the royal fireworks which was a, a, a grand affair again a sort of political statement uh, to gain favour for the king which was put on in 1749 and caused one of the biggest traffic jams in London ever recorded. <laughs> Actually, in length, is longer than the boat that Handel originally had, that, that we know, uh, this, for this particular occasion in 1717. We know the length of that boat. We don't know its width, or at least I, I haven't, haven't read any, anywhere of its width. So, and that was shorter than the boat we're on. And we're only using half the number of musicians that Handel had on the boat. And not only had, did he have 50 musicians, we have 22, Handel had 50 musicians. He also had 18 oarsmen as well who require a lot of room to row, plus all the accoutrement for lighting and music stands. They, they were probably standing up, almost certainly standing up, but even so they still had to have stands with candles on because it was dark uh, when, they, when they were coming back, back down the river. So um, it must have been absolutely dreadful on, on, on the original barge. So, and, but even on our, on our boat, we, we're not, not finding that we've got a great deal of room to, to play with. <laughs> But uh, of course, so people can really, really hear it well on the on the banks of the river. We've got amplif amplification pumping the sound out from both sides of the boat, which causes all sorts of interesting problems for us in the middle of that because we get the echoes back off each bank at different times. <laughs> The challenge is to keep your music on the music stand, but at the same time to be able to turn the pages. And I am so impressed that somebody's had the wit to stick little magnets underneath plastic on the music. And so as you, not, not only will it, hmm, I don't know what, yes, it will, it, it sticks to the music stand, which at least hopefully prevents the wind blowing the whole music off. And then when you turn the page, instead of having to fill around with pegs, it just sticks itself to the next stage. It's amazing. I'm, I'm amazed that no one's thought of that before. And hopefully it's means that as we pass the Queen, we won't all be scurrying to find pages and pegs instead of playing music. It's brilliant. very 
very damp, uh, I've, I stand a, not a very good chance of, of uh, making a, a nice bright sound because the skins will just get wet and, and sort of damp and they take in a lot of moisture and that'll affect the sound. So I'm actually contemplating putting synthetic skins on for the, for the river. But on the other hand, the argument is that in, uh, in Handel's day, they didn't have synthetic skins and they would have had to make do with whatever they had. And if it had been a damp old day, that, there would have been absolutely nothing that they could have done about it. Uh, luckily, uh, unlike in Handel's day, I'm able to look uh, at the, the weather forecast on my Blackberry in advance and make an informed decision. It's, it's just wonderfully jolly music. I mean, Handel was a, a, a master at, at creating music for an occasion. It's very, very ceremonial, it's very upbeat. Always lots of symbols associated with, with trumpets and horns, the horns being wealth and, and fullness and richness. Trumpets having not just a military aspect but also an angelic aspect as well. Thank you.